Ever felt overwhelmed by all the self-help advice out there? You're not alone. We're bombarded with theories about how to live a better life, but do we actually put them into practice? Today, we're diving into the wisdom of Musonius Rufus to uncover the secret to real change. It's not about knowing what to do, but doing what you know. We've all been there. We feel overwhelmed by the sheer volume of self-help advice, books, podcasts, articles. They all promise a better version of ourselves. But how often do we actually implement this advice? The truth is, knowing what to do and actually doing it are two very different things. This gap between knowledge and action is where many of us stumble. We get stuck in a cycle of information consumption without real transformation. But what if there's a better way? What if the key to lasting change lies not in accumulating more knowledge, but in cultivating the right habits? Musonius Rufus lived in the first century AD. He was a prominent Stoic philosopher during the Roman Empire, a time when philosophical thought was highly regarded and influential in shaping the lives of many. He was known for his practical approach to Stoicism. Unlike some philosophers who focus solely on theoretical aspects, Musonius emphasized the application of Stoic principles in everyday life. He believed that philosophy should be accessible and useful to everyone, not just an intellectual elite. Stoicism is a philosophy that emphasizes virtue, reason and living in harmony with nature. It teaches that by understanding the natural order of the world, we can align our lives with it and achieve a state of inner peace and resilience. It teaches that virtue is the sole good while external factors are indifferent. This means that our moral character and the choices we make are what truly matter rather than the external circumstances we find ourselves in. This doesn't mean we shouldn't strive for success, but rather that our happiness shouldn't depend on it. Success and material wealth are seen as preferred indifference. They are desirable but not essential for a good life. Musonius Rufus believed that philosophy should be a way of life, not just an intellectual exercise. He argued that true wisdom comes from living according to philosophical principles, not merely understanding them, he stressed the importance of putting Stoic principles into practice. For Musonius, the real test of a philosopher was not in their ability to debate or write about Stoicism, but in their ability to live it out in their daily actions. This focus on action is what makes his teachings so relevant today. In a world where we are often overwhelmed by information and distractions, Musonius' emphasis on practical wisdom and ethical living offers a timeless guide to personal growth and fulfilment. He reminds us that true growth comes not from simply knowing what is right, but from consistently doing it. By integrating Stoic principles into our lives, we can cultivate a sense of purpose, resilience and inner peace, regardless of the challenges we face. We've all experienced the frustration of knowing what we should do but failing to act on it. We might know we should eat healthier, exercise more or spend less time on social media. But knowing and doing are two different things. This gap often stems from a lack of consistent action. We rely too heavily on willpower and motivation, both of which can be fleeting. Musonius Rufus understood this human tendency. He believed that knowledge without action is like a musical instrument that is never played. It holds potential, but remains silent. To unlock its true power, we need to put it into practice, to translate knowledge into action. This is where habits come into play. Musonius Rufus saw habits as the building blocks of virtue. He believed that by repeatedly performing virtuous actions, we train ourselves to become virtuous people. Just as a musician practices scales to master their instrument, we develop good habits to cultivate a virtuous character. These habits, repeated consistently over time, become second nature. This emphasis on habit formation is crucial because it shifts our focus from willpower to action. Instead of relying on fleeting motivation, we create systems that make it easier to do the right thing day after day. This approach aligns with modern psychology, which recognizes the power of habits in shaping our behavior. Theory versus practice, the case for action. In this section, we delve into the crucial difference between knowing something in theory and actually applying it in real life. This distinction is vital for understanding how we can truly master any skill or virtue. Imagine you're learning to ride a bicycle. 
the initial attempts are often filled with wobbles, falls and scrapes. It's a process that requires patience and resilience. You could spend hours reading books and watching videos about cycling techniques. These resources can provide valuable insights and tips, offering a theoretical understanding of how to balance, pedal and steer. You could become an expert on bicycle mechanics and the physics of balance. Understanding the intricate details of how gears work and how to maintain your bike can be fascinating and useful, but none of that knowledge would help you actually ride a bicycle. The real challenge lies in translating that theoretical knowledge into practical skills. To learn, you need to get on the bike and practice. It's through repeated attempts, adjustments and perseverance that you gradually improve. You need to fall, adjust and try again until it becomes second nature. Each fall teaches you something new and each success builds your confidence. The same principle applies to virtue. Just as with learning to ride a bike, developing virtue requires more than just theoretical knowledge. We can acquire theoretical knowledge about ethics and morality, immersing ourselves in the wisdom of philosophers and ethical theories. But true virtue comes from putting those principles into practice. It's about making ethical decisions in our daily lives and acting with integrity. It's about developing the habit of acting virtuously, even when it's difficult. Just like training for a sport, it requires consistent effort and dedication. As Musonius Rufus said, we become just by doing just acts. By consistently choosing to act with kindness, fairness and integrity, we cultivate true virtue. In conclusion, the journey from theory to practice is essential in mastering any skill or virtue. It's through action, reflection and perseverance that we truly grow and excel. Procrastination, a case study in habit. Let's look at procrastination, a common struggle that exemplifies the gap between knowing and doing. It's a phenomenon that affects people from all walks of life, regardless of age, profession or background. We know we should start that project, study for that exam, or even just begin that workout routine we've been putting off. These tasks often seem daunting and overwhelming, making it easier to delay them. Yet, we find ourselves putting it off, often until the last minute. This last minute rush can lead to stress, anxiety and subpar performance. Procrastination is often framed as a time management issue, but it's often rooted in our habits. It's not just about poor planning, it's about the patterns we've ingrained in our daily lives. We've developed a pattern of delaying uncomfortable tasks, seeking immediate gratification over long-term rewards. This behavior is reinforced by the temporary relief we feel when we avoid a task. To overcome procrastination, we need to break this cycle of habitual delay. This requires a conscious effort to change our behavior and mindset. We can do this by setting small, achievable goals. These small wins can build momentum and make larger tasks seem more manageable. Breaking down large tasks into smaller steps can make them less intimidating and easier to start. Creating systems of accountability can also be incredibly effective. Sharing your goals with others can provide the motivation and support needed to stay on track. By consistently acting against our instinct to procrastinate, we rewire our brains and develop new, more productive habits. Over time, these new habits can lead to significant improvements in our productivity and overall well-being. Remember, overcoming procrastination is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, persistence, and a willingness to change. But with the right strategies and mindset, it's entirely possible to transform our habits and achieve our goals. Shaping character through consistent action. The ancient Greeks believed in arit, often translated as excellence or virtue. This concept encompassed not only moral goodness, but also skill, craftsmanship, and fulfilling one's potential. Achieving areta wasn't about innate talent, it was about consistent effort and the development of good habits. This idea resonates with Musonius Rufus's teachings on habit. By focusing on our daily actions, we shape our character over time. Each small act of courage, kindness or self-control repeated consistently contributes to the development of a virtuous character. Just as a sculptor chisels away at stone to create a masterpiece, we shape ourselves through our actions. So, how do we cultivate these virtuous habits? Here are a few practical tips. Start small. Begin with one habit you want to develop. Focus on consistency over intensity. Make it specific. Instead of exercise more, aim for a 20-minute walk every morning. 
Find an accountability partner. Share your goal with someone who will support and encourage you. Track your progress. Use a journal, app, or calendar to monitor your consistency. Reward yourself. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small. Remember, habit formation is a journey, not a race. There will be setbacks and challenges along the way. The key is to be patient with yourself, learn from your mistakes, and keep moving forward. Small steps, big changes, the power of consistency. The power of habit lies in its ability to create significant change through small, consistent actions. Just as a single raindrop can eventually carve a canyon into solid rock, our daily habits, repeated over time, shape our character and determine our destiny. Don't underestimate the power of small, consistent actions. Start today by identifying one habit you want to cultivate. Commit to taking one small step in that direction every day. Over time, these small steps will compound into remarkable progress. Action speaks louder than words. Embracing habit. The wisdom of Musonius Rufus reminds us that true virtue is not a passive pursuit. It's about actively cultivating good habits and putting our knowledge into practice. It's about bridging the gap between knowing and doing. In a world saturated with information, it's easy to fall into the trap of intellectualizing self-improvement without taking concrete action. Musonius Rufus's teachings offer a powerful antidote to this tendency. He calls us back to the fundamentals, to the transformative power of habit and the importance of aligning our actions with our values. The journey begins. A call to action. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. The same principle applies to cultivating virtue. Don't wait for the perfect moment or the perfect plan. Start today with whatever small action you can manage. Embrace the power of habit and watch as your consistent efforts transform your life. Remember, you are not alone on this journey. There are countless resources available to support you, from books and articles to online communities and workshops. Additional resources, your toolkit for growth. Here are a few resources to further explore the power of habit and the teachings of Stoicism, asterisk books, by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman, by Marcus Aurelius, by James Clear, by Charles Duhigg, the Stoic Fellowship asterisk, Modern Stoicism, the Daily Stoic website. These resources can provide you with additional guidance, support and inspiration as you embark on your journey of personal growth and habit formation. Remember, the most important step is the one you take today. Remember, knowledge without action is just potential. Start building your virtuous habits today and unlock your true potential. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more content and thanks for watching.